weekend. The show originally planned to do their Christmas special, but it went without a live audience because of the recent rise in COVID cases. The show tried out an adjusted format. Take a look. COVID came early this year. So in the interest of safety, we do not have an audience. And we sent home our cast, most of our crew. But I came here from California. And if you think I was going to fly 3,000 miles and I'd be on TV, well, you got another thing coming. So we thought we'd read these dumb jokes anyway and just see if we can make these guys laugh. Yeah, you guys ready? <laughs> you. Yeah, Hanks, are you ready? May I call you Hanks? I'd rather you didn't. OK. <laughs> and can we confirm that you have never heard these jokes before? Not a once, except the two you blew in the rehearsal. Oh. <laughs> wow. This show did include some new tape sketches as well as some from the past. Can't so even they call made him. it work. Can't even call him Hank. A web slinging superhero pulling in big numbers at the box office this weekend. Super Spider Man No Way Home brought in more than $250 million. It's the biggest opening weekend for any film release during the pandemic. No other film during the pandemic has topped $100 million in one weekend, but Spider Man did that in a single day. The final chapter in the trilogy stars Tom Holland. Marvel fans are excited for this one because after the film's creators teased the return of a familiar character, or more than one actually, from previous films. And there are more blockbuster releases heading to the big screen this Friday. The Matrix Resurrections comes to theaters and also HBO Max the same day. And Sing 2, the animated family-friendly film, debuts in theaters this weekend. That'll be fun. I want to take my niece and nephew for that one. For Sing. For Sing 2? Sing 2. All right, places to go to for the holidays, not too far from home. And a ski lodge in San Antonio. SA Live has all of that and more today on the show. Mike and Fiona are in the Christmas spirit. Wait a minute. <laughs> hey, guys. Hi. You thought Mike. Well, it's beginning to feel a lot like Christmas. I, I love like it too. when we break into song. <laughs> I don't know if they do, but hey, what the heck. <laughs> but we do, and it's just five days away, right? Yeah, if you can believe, I mean, it was Labor Day yesterday, it just seems like. So, all right, do we have a holiday packed show for you today and lots of fun places to take your family. Yes, Jen takes us out to a ski lodge right here in San Antonio. Sort of, okay. you know, the ambiance, if you will. Very cool. Interesting. You can okay. feel we, chilly in your mind. <laughs> we head out to a spot near town where you can ice skate, see Santa Claus and Christmas lights, and even hear Christmas carols in a cave. Talk about acoustics. I know. Right? That'd be cool. And it's a watery, wintry wonderland Christmas celebration over at SeaWorld. And oh, what fun it is to make those memories. Nine million something like that. Nine or million Nine. bazillion. Nine. <laughs> Crafter Amy Lotta shares her Christmas DIY tips and hacks with us for all that Christmas week fun at home. And take a break from all that crafting and wrapping and snuggle up with some cuddly and, well, not so cuddly animals. Yeah, no, no, no. And a Christmas deal you don't want to miss. All that and more when SA Live continues in just a few minutes. Winter begins tomorrow. Yes, it will feel like it. And we're going to have a high today of 58, 40 to start off tomorrow, 41 Wednesday morning. Watch out for just a patch or two of fog. And uh, yeah, go figure after tomorrow afternoon, once winter gets here, it's going to really start to warm up. We're going to be looking at the mid and upper 70s by Christmas. The winter actually starts during the nine, the news at nine. As we are finishing so up nine in the last break, 9.58. So we can yes. celebrate right Let's there. Throw at the end a of the party. Show. Put on hey. a coat, go outside. Put on a coat. Bring some champagne. Oh, that's a good one. Saving that for New Year's. <laughs> that's all we got for you for now. Thanks for joining us. SA Live starts right. Watch, watch how fast this works. Yeah, it starts. Here. What's the countdown? Oh, we can toss. Starts right now. Today on SA Live, carols in the caverns, ice skating, and a spelunking Santa, where you can experience all of this Christmas wonder. And animals are taking over at Market Square. We're getting up close with all things spiny, slithery, hoppy, and feathery. And Jen hits the slopes at Chicken and Pickle to give us a snowy peek at the new ski lodge pop-up right here in San Antonio. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from historic Market Square. This is SA Live.
Merry Monday before Christmas, everyone. If this doesn't get you into the spirit with these sweaters, I don't know what will. Right. I'm like Age. <laughs> and I'm Fiona Gorsiza. Just five days. Five days. Can you believe it? No. Until the big day. And there's still so much to do, right? Yeah. Well, maybe you need a break from all the, the hustle and bustle. And we have just the time out that you need. Yes, it is a wild Wednesday, two days early. It's a Christmas miracle. Check it out. Well, our animal friends are back for another visit, and you can find out how they can then visit you. <laughs> Hello. Aww. How are you? Look at that thing. Oh, it's so cute. I can't even. Amanda Winter, founder and animal specialist from Once in Wild, is here with some cute critters and feathery friends for yeah, us to closely. meet. Before we get to who that is over there, we're going to start over here because Mike's got his hands full. Yeah. I know you have one sharp looking critter there. Yeah, when she scoots around and I try and grab her, that goes. <gasps> Oh, a little bit. Yeah. Cute. That is so, cool. a lot of people um, want a hedgehog for a pet. Do you think they make good pets? I, no, not her? as spicy. As, well, I'm a little afraid because it is on a three foot oh. high table and I don't want to take She's a diaper. So cute. So. Oh my gosh, I yes, can't that, that even with that the cuteness right now, face. Mike. Look at that, Look Shirley. At that nose. Look Shirley. at that nose. <laughs> Shirley, the African hedgehog. Uh, Shirley, she's very sharp. Um, but she is a one of the smallest type of hedgehog in the world. There's several types, but the African is one of the smallest. They're, They're also known as the pygmy hedgehog. Bigger than this? How big is the biggest There's one? There's some good? much larger ones. In fact, they can get about four to five times that size, but over in Europe. Wow. Europe has the largest. Oh, look, wow. Look at yeah. how cute the yeah. little claws yes. are. Okay. And she is not a rodent. They're actually closely related to shrews. So they eat a lot of bugs, like termites in Africa. And they're more of a warm weather hedgehog. So that's why they stay so small. They don't need to be so big to kind of make it through the winter months and things. Okay. It's, it's mm -hmm. crazy to me how as soon as she pulls her little head back, I mean, it, it it's almost like a like a what is it like a hoodie it just yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's just... actually exactly what i tell people have you ever uh -huh. put on a hoodie and of course you have um if you draw the drawstring on the hoodie her skin can stretch all the way around her entire body legs uh, are covered head is covered which is a great adaptation and all those spines which mike is experiencing right now uh, make her <laughs> almost impossible to eat except yeah. for by one type of predator so there's really okay. just one predator that hunts them in all of africa what, Isn't that incredible what, what, what hunts oh, wow. them? Okay. Oh, an animal we'll talk about in a little bit. Oh, go back okay. Down. okay. You get back so let's put it away so we don't talk about that part. That's who. That's who. That. Indeed. Okay. <laughs> All right. Anybody ready for a dip in the pool? Oh, oh look at that. <laughs> So Ooh, these the guys, <laughs> these guys are really cute. They're fire belly toads, and they're a type of frog-like toad that comes from Asia. So you will see these guys in China and surrounding countries, and they actually like cooler water, and they're usually out in the daytime, which is unusual for frogs. Oh, and they cute. You want to know that. what their names are? What? Boba, Django, and Mando. Ah. And all the Mandalorians, yeah, the Mandalorian. right? They have similar colors on their dorsal, which is their back kind of top side, uh -huh. and that helps them blend in really well to like moss and things. But oh, as you yeah. can see from the shot right now, yeah. um, they have kind of an orange belly. That's where they get their name, the fire belly toad. Uh -huh. And that will warn enemies that they are uh, toxic, but they really just taste bad. They're really not deadly to most animals. So it's um, not like those ones in South, uh, South America that you correct. touch and you're... Exactly. Okay. And that's actually only in their natural environment that the poison dart frogs are like that. They have to eat the right diet. So it's usually ah. like, like different types of ants yeah. and bugs that make them toxic. But Speaking of bugs. Okay. Absolutely. Great segue. <laughs> so what do we have in there? Can you guys see them? on the shot yeah, there I'm turn and it. twist them around. It's we right brought there. a few of our Madagascar hissing cockroaches. There's one right there. That's one of our male Madagascar hissing cockroaches. They're actually really easy to tell the gender because when they're mature, the males have little bumps on the top of their kind of head area. They're little, like, <laughs> like, little, almost like little horns. Uh -huh. And the oh, females yeah. don't. The females don't have that. And the higher the horns, the more attractive. Well, <laughs> so he can get girlfriends. Yes, they <laughs> say. So know. they're pretty cool. I know a lot of people are scared of bugs. But these guys are harmless. They don't fly like the roaches we're used to here in Texas. Mm -hmm. Well, thank goodness. I know, absolutely. <laughs> okay. So we have one more before we get to our last animal. Is right? this Mike's favorite? Oh, oh wow. Oh, that's brave of you. Well, I, it's still now the back still to the <laughs> Nothing to be okay. scared of. That's Prince. Hi. You're welcome to scoop him right up. He's a very nice boy. Tender. And uh, he is a ball python. They're actually from the same exact uh, place as Shirley the Hedgehog in Africa. They're from the savannas okay. of Africa. You want to take that? Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> Look how beautiful he is. He has a white belly wow. and a, a kind of like the frog, a different belly and a different dorsal. 
How what do big you think? will he get? Um, not much bigger than that. This is a smaller type of python. The maximum size that they get is usually five to six foot, but that's extremely huge for a female. A male won't get nearly as big as that. Um, he'll probably stay around the four foot range. This is just incredible looking. Thank you very much. He's our newest uh, animal. His name is Rango, and he's a Eurasian eagle owl, uh, one of the largest species of owls in the entire world. However, the females actually get a lot bigger than the males. He weighs around four pounds, but females can reach up to maybe nine and a half to 10 pounds, maybe sometimes. That's be an extra large one. But still, they're a really amazing animal, and hearing is what they do best. I know he's got great big giant eyes. He sees really well. But yeah. for the birds of prey, he doesn't see color very good. So hearing is actually his best sense. And aren't his ears like most of his head, actually, and the, the feathers are kind of hiding him a little bit? They're or? definitely hidden under there, and they're pretty large. You're pretty right. They're not what you see on top. Those are just feathers. They're okay. more like eyebrows. He can lower them, raise them up for expression. Kind of like the cockatiel you guys met with the yeah, crest. Yeah. Um, they'll kind of use the same mechanism, more or less, to express themselves. Uh, right now, he's feeling a little relaxed, which I love. He's kind of just half He's, half he's just, he's <laughs> just staring directly into the, the camera ears. lens. I know. <laughs> What's amazing too is his right foot right there, those wow. talons. Look at those. Oh my goodness Healthiest gracious. talons. That is the correct terminology. Talons are what birds of prey have. But I was going to mention his ears, it's a good thing you can't see them. They're really funny looking. They're one up high and one down low. And that helps them to triangulate noises when they bob their head. Have you ever seen an owl like... Mm -hmm. Yes. Do that. Yes. Can you see me on camera doing that? Yes. <laughs> That's what an owl's doing. They're trying to figure out where noises are coming and from. And his feathers ah. are, aren't they kind of loose so that he doesn't make noise when he flies? Correct. You're, you're, that's part of it. Um, but they're also frayed at the edges. You can kind of see, if you look real close, they're kind of frayed. And they're very soft. They're some of the softest feathers in the animal kingdom. So when he flaps his wings and flies to pick up prey, um, they won't hear him coming. So they're not the fastest birds of prey, but they are nearly silent when they fly, which is incredible. Wow. So I wish his, wing, his wings are when he was took him out of the cage about yeah. what, four feet, almost five feet. He's about a five foot wingspan. Yeah, wow. they're pretty big. But can you can you believe he only weighs four pounds? That's very uh, counterintuitive to what we would think. Wow. And so I and, just love them. Ooh, and that's, we are together. That's who the <clears throat> predator is for the hedgehog. Right? Correct. So oh. specifically, it would be a rose eagle owl or a milky eagle owl in Africa. These guys also live in Africa partially, but they're more Europe, Asia, more cold weather. So it'd be North Africa. Um, but the rose eagle owl is another large owl that can eat hedgehogs. Wow. Isn't that neat? Very, very cool right. from Amanda they're Winter. Not play. They're not going to play together. Okay. Once Tell in a while, can yes. come to you, right? Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. So all the animals you see today and many, many more, as you guys know, that have been on the show before and many more that you haven't seen yet can come to a classroom, birthday party, any event, uh, photo ops, whatever you would like to do with animals, we can help you out. And uh, you can go to onceinawild.com to learn more about our public events coming up soon. If you'd like more it's information well. on Once in a Wild, <laughs> go to essaylive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. As always, Amanda, thank you so very much. I love this. You're welcome. Anytime, you guys. It's a pleasure. Ah, well, from slithering and flying to swooshing down the slopes, did you know there's a ski lodge here in town? A I ski did lodge! Not. But I'm about to find out because, uh, sort of, I guess you could say, Dentobai Ostrowski is hitting the slopes at Chicken and Pickle. Hey, Jen. We're going to feel the snow vibe, so I'm not quite ready, but I think we can make this happen, okay? Yep, okay, we got a jacket here, too. And then, last but not least, we've got our scarf. And Tony Palacino, the general manager, joins me now. You're ready. We're let's ready. Go. I'm ready to go. You feeling these snow vibes Yep, now? it's vibes are here. All right, let's talk about this amazing pop-up bar. Uh, how long has it been going on, and, and where did this idea come from? We started a few weeks ago. Uh, we started last year in North Kansas City, our home location, and we brought Snowbound this year to San Antonio, and we're going to go through about the beginning of January. But it's really cool, one of the only unique Christmas pop-up bars here in San Antonio. I love it. I'm feeling the vibes here. And what's a party without the cocktail? That's so right. you have uh, quite a selection of lodge cocktails and the lovely bartender Hilario is going to whip up some for us right now. The first one is the Free Rider. So he's making it right over there. Tell us what's in that, Tony. So Free Rider is going to come with screwball whiskey, which is a peanut butter whiskey, really unique. We then add a little bit of Kahlua, of course, and then, of course, hot chocolate because it is Christmas time. On top of that, we're going to put some marshmallows and then a drizzle of caramel and chocolate. Finished off, it is delicious, served hot and warm to keep you nice and warm here in Texas. All right. All right, so I'm going to help him finish this one off. And on the menu, you have quite the selection. So he's going to start working on the next one, which is fun. It's the whiteout, right? Yes, the whiteout is amazing. Whiteout is uh, our nutmeg-based concept. So again, uh, served with nutmeg in there, a little bit of, uh, uh, excuse me, uh, eggnog, and then nutmeg, and then ginger snap on top. We even light up the glass for you to make sure you can see what's coming. Uh, but that one is good, served with a uh, delicious Bacardi. And this one has been very popular so far this year. 
All right, and while he finishes that one, let's let's talk about what we have in front of us here. So these you're looking at, the from left to right, you're adjust your altitude as first. That one is great, a little cinnamon maker's mark. A really popular and nice sipping drink. Next you'll see is kind of the adult size, you know, fun little kids bag. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we do a little Jack Daniels branded. It's, it's called our Ski Patrol. Uh, you hopefully one of your little dogs will come rescue you and bring that to you. Uh, next to that, you'll find your, um, excuse me, Ski Later. It is hot apple cider with a little apples on top, little cinnamon dust on top, delicious, of course, spiked like. And then at the very end, you'll find your tips up cranberries and a little rosemary on there. Delicious. All of these are so good. Everything here just runs for about 11 bucks. All right, now here it is. This is the wide out. Now he's working on the avalanche, but look at how cool this is. <laughs> how beautiful. All right, I'm going to give this a little taste. Do you have a favorite, Tony? I do. The, the ski patrol in the bag is my absolute favorite because you can take it and walk around the property with it too. I mean, this is not your child's Capri Sun here. All right, we'll give this one a try as well. And he's going to work on the avalanche, but you also have something really fun that is um, that your coworkers back here are getting ready to do. do you That's to right. So it's not snowbound without a shot ski. So we take a literal <laughs> ski and put four shots on it. These guys are going to show you how it runs. You guys ready? Let's make it happen. Three, two, one. Every table loves to do one of these. We try to get as many as we can. That's right. <laughs> and again, a tough task for them, right? Coming to work and get asked to do that. But uh, a great time out here. And he's finishing up the avalanche. This one looks beautiful. I like the little slanted glass there, too. And the menu includes about eight different cocktails here. But there's also food on the menu, several events coming up. And you saw earlier we were outside. So there's also the balcony. Now, when we come back, we will get a taste of the menu. and also. Right. So a little tour because again you can rent this out you have to reserve it and all of that we're gonna show you right super excited can't wait to all see right. you guys in a minute I get to your favorite drink here <laughs> thank you <laughs> back to you guys today on SA live oh you're gonna have a splash this season at SeaWorld we're gonna tell you about all the holiday fun you can have and introduce you to the newest addition here at Beluga Stadium Just making sure it was a splash to make some family memories at the biggest Christmas celebration in Texas. We are here at SeaWorld and joining me right now is Jeff Sambula, entertainment manager. Tell us what is new this year at this watery, wintry wonderland for folks. So there is so much going on this year. As usual, you can come in and see the lights in different areas around the park. There are different light setups, different colors, different textures, but new this year, we have a brand new show in our Sea Star Theater called Coastal Christmas, a show that has a good feeling on the inside where you're in a resort, but we're talking about the true meaning of Christmas, and that's being with family, the memories of being home for the holidays. So and there are great dine-in experiences. Yes, there are great dine-in experiences as well. We have our, our dine with Santa Claus and Mrs. Claus, where you'll get to meet Santa, Miss Claus, and some of our elves. And of course, families can enjoy walking through, I mean, how many millions of twinkling lights? We have over nine million lights around the park. You have a, a Christmas country feel around here. You have a boot tree in, um, on the other side. And then as you see behind us, some poinsettias, but then there are, in the Bay of Play, colorful areas that encompass is our, our sesame product. And then in front of Orca, we have blue, white, so different areas have different colors and different themes as you walk around the park. Our beluga Christmas, that includes our belugas and also our Pacific white-sided dolphins. And I'm about to go meet some of those belugas right yes. now, you right? <laughs> All right, we are here at Beluga Stadium, and joining me right now is Elizabeth Pitcher, Senior One Animal Trainer, and oh, we've got somebody popping up and down behind you, ready to splash us at any moment, mm -hmm. because they love to do that, but we have a new addition, right? We <laughs> do, yes. Uh, we do have a new addition to our uh, Beluga pod here. His name is Tulak, um, and he was born on July 25th. Okay. We're extremely excited that he's here. Okay. So Tell us a little bit about him. Well, whenever a beluga whale is born, on average, they're around 120 pounds at birth. Uh, there he is right now, the dark gray. Uh, but right now, he's weighing at over 350 pounds. So he'll eventually kind of lose that dark gray color? 
Yes, he will. Uh, so uh, belugas are known for that bright white coloration, but they're actually born that very dark gray that you're seeing on Tulak there. And that's actually camouflage for them. They actually blend into their mother's shadow as they swim underneath her to nurse and stay in her slipstream. Uh, but as they age, their skin does change slowly over time and they brighten up to their own unique shade of white. Mm -hmm. All right, and of course, folks can come see them here over the season at the show, right? Yes, so we have our Beluga Christmas presentation now over the holidays, which is a lot of fun. Um, and usually Tulak makes an appearance with his mom, Luna, in a presentation. All right, so you get to watch for her during the show. She's probably going to be the one splashing the crowd, right? <laughs> Very possibly. <laughs> we do try to keep everyone a little dry in the colder months. <laughs> All right, tell folks how they can come out and enjoy. If you visit SeaWorld.com and then look for San Antonio specifically, you're able to book any of the experiences that we've talked about already and also book your tickets to come into the park as well. All right, and for all that information, all you have to do is head to our website, SALive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Christmas goes underground, literally. Check out everything you can experience at this special holiday attraction. It's Christmas at the Caverns. Natural Bridge Caverns is sprucing up the caves with some holiday cheer every weekend through December 23rd. There are going to be carolers, twinkling lights, holiday scenes, and a giant musical Christmas tree, and so much more. And here to tell us all about it is Vice President Travis Weist. Hey there. Hello, welcome. Talk about bringing the Christmas spirit. You guys are all about it. And caroling at the Caverns. Seriously, that's got to sound absolutely amazing in there. Talk about acoustics. Oh, it's the perfect set for uh, caroling and uh, the majestic chambers of the cave, live performances, your favorite Christmas carols sung inside the cave. Uh, it's a spectacular event for sure. And how often does that happen? How can folks see it? Yeah, so th those events will take off uh, for about 10 nights. And so we can check the schedules and show times on our website. And uh, we definitely recommend folks get advanced tickets for that too. All right, and there are lights and several activities for folks. There's a lot of activities all across the grounds here as well. We have, of course, Christmas trees and light displays everywhere. We have a lighted walk to display called a Trail of Lights this year. There's going to be thousands of lights, uh, Christmas music everywhere. Santa's Spelunker Claws will be on site for family pictures. We have a skating rink for synthetic ice skating set up this year as well. We have a reindeer roundup maze where you can find all of Santa's lost reindeer. So there's just more fun than you can shake a candy cane at. So many family memories to be made. So many like Instagrammable, you know, moments, right, for folks. Absolutely. So it's, an, it's a great opportunity to get out and enjoy things with the family. Um, the event also supports the San Antonio New Braunfels Food Bank, so we encourage people to bring a food item out um, and we'll give them some marshmallows they can roast around the campfire as well. I love that. Now, you mentioned a skating rink. Tell me a little bit about that. Sure, yeah. So it's a synthetic ice skating rink, so it's uh, it's not real ice, but uh, you put on real skates and you're going to glide around uh, kind of like you were skating. It's a lot of fun. As we said, there's also a, a, a 5,000 square foot labyrinth maze that has uh, all of Santa's reindeer lost throughout the maze. And so you're going to make your way through the maze and you have to find find all of his reindeer and make it out and it's all a timed event. So that's a ton of fun too. Anything else folks should know before they come on out? You know, um, definitely dress for the weather, whatever it is outside. Most of the event is outdoors. And so uh, get your tickets in advance as well. What is the reaction from folks when you do this every year? You know, uh, people just really enjoy being uh, outdoors here in the hill country. Um, our, our grounds are beautiful and the lights are great. And so it's just a really fun family opportunity for people to come out and enjoy something uh, close to home. And this time of year, I mean, the caves are lit up in a whole different way, right? That's true. So the caverns has been relit completely, as a matter of fact, with new state-of-the-art LED lighting, but there's also going to be some special Christmas lights at the end of the tour just for the season. All right. And Christmas at the caverns is happening select nights here at Natural Bridge Caverns through December 23rd. For more information, just call 210-651-6101 or visit naturalbridgecaverns.com. And next, wish you could spend the holiday on the ski slopes? Well, this might be the closest we'll get. We're tasting some ski lodge flavors at this fun winter experience right here in town. All right, well, we told our Jen Tobias Strusky earlier we would ski her later. <laughs> Sorry, I just, it's funny. Okay, uh, and it's time to head back out to Chicken and Pickles Holiday Pop-Up Bar, which makes you feel like, hey, you know, you're finishing a few runs on the slopes, and now it's time to eat. Hey there, Jen. <laughs> yes, 
this? Yeah, exactly. You've just finished that nice ski run, and now it's time to get a taste of the menu. Now, this is one of the more Instagram-worthy spots here at Chicken and Pickle Snowbound, a Mary Ski Lodge. So I had to get in there. Isn't that fun? But we're going to come now into one of the bigger rooms. Again, you can rent this. Tony's here waiting for us. Now, let's just take in this cozy room. Tell me about this awesome spot in here. Our goal was to make you feel like you just got off the slopes, coming in onto our Mary Ski Lodge. Come in, have a cocktail, have a little bite to eat, watch the Hallmark Channel, and relax. <sighs> And yes, he said Hallmark Channel. I know, I know Mike Osterhage is off today, but he would love that because it's on constantly, constantly. Now, if you get hungry, we're going to start here and show you what's on the lodge menu. Yes, so this is our uh, initial little appetizer bite, our crunch mix, a mixture of some beautiful yogurt pretzels, chocolate pretzels, and the like. We pan over to our deviled eggs. These are homemade with a little jalapeno jelly on top and mm. some bacon. Delicious little bites right there. We have our famous pimento cheese dip. We only have this for Snowbound, some caramel onions on top, serve with some toast and a little baguettes as well. It is delicious, served hot. And then our salmon dip, again, fresh salmon off the coast and then a little cucumber radish and some extra bread as well. We have the most famous item we serve currently is our pork belly and Brussels sprouts. This thing is not to be forgotten. Everyone's been ordering it like crazy. And then finish off, you got a little sweet tooth. This is our whiskey chocolate cake. Look at that. That thing will tear you down. Wow. Okay, that looks amazing. So this is, again, what's on the lodge menu and we showed you the cocktail tells earlier so this is part of our tour we're going to adjust our lighting as we head outside because this is also part of the experience because we've got the fire going Tony, <laughs> That's right. oh my gosh i love it so right. tell me about what we have out here so same thing we set up four fire pits out here our guests can come out here and reserve one of these to hang out by the fire. Uh, Texas is having a little hard time getting cold so far, but we'll get there. And then it's a perfect environment. Come hang out with us out here. Enjoy your cocktails out here. A little bit of greenery. You might see Bigfoot walking by, uh, <laughs> but a lot of really cool area. Again, it's a little toasty for us today, but that doesn't take away from this experience. And you have some fun events coming up. One of them, Pups with Santa, right? Pups with Santa <laughs> on the 15th. We're going to have Santa here to take pictures with all your pups that night. Mm -hmm. And then we're doing an ugly uh, Christmas sweater uh, tournament in pickleball on the 18th as well. Got it. Okay, and then you have a nice um, look, give back with the chicken and pickle cups if you purchase those, right? That's right. Chicken and pickle always wants to give back to our community, and the Green Cup program is something we've been proud of since day one. And so right now, this current uh, first half of the month, we're donating back to Special Olympics Texas, and they'll have a new charity each half of the month. So we're very excited to so come on down and support a local charity while enjoying yourself at Snowbound. Perfect. Now we're going to go back inside. Yes, I know. I'm taking you guys all over, but we're going to finish off here at the bar. Um, and because we didn't really get to come back this way. So who helped you design all of this? Because this is so cool. I love the different combinations of Chicken everything. and Pickle is very lucky. We've got somebody named Abby Marshall, and she and her family put this together. This is her uh, brainchild. And then Chicken and Pickle has partnered with her, and she's done this in all of our current open locations across the country. It is wonderful, and uh, we're so excited to do it this year, and we hope to continue for years to come. And for those watching that are interested, I know our executive producer said, I want to go. How much time do they have? How long does this last? And what's the best way to reserve this? So we're going through early January. Uh, the best rate of reserve is online. We do online reservations. Uh, you can book a two-hour, what we call a flight, and we do about three to four flights a day, usually in the evening time. So get yours booked. Come on down and enjoy it. Uh, we'll be here. I got to tell you, the Hallmark Channel adds the perfect touch <laughs> with the Christmas movies, but I'm really excited about this. Thank you for having us there. It was a day of celebration at William J. Brennan High School as they honored one of their own. Junior Ashton DuBose was named 2021 John Wayne Player of the Year. This young man set a city record for touchdown passes, all-time record in Greater San Antonio. The quarterback had an incredible season, passing over 3,600 yards and throwing 53 touchdowns while leading the Brennan Bears to an astounding 13-1 overall record and 8-0 in their district. Being Player of the Year, uh, it's a really big deal, you know, really exciting. It's exciting for everybody, but I'm excited for them as a family and, and for us as a community and, and Brendan as a high school. Ashton's incredible play also earned him one of John Wayne's coveted Player of the Week honors during the 2021 season. All season long, John Wayne's service company has been recognizing outstanding high school players each week. 
The team at John Wayne has long worked hard in giving back to the San Antonio community, including honoring our student athletes. John Wayne, we're uh, trying to support uh, high school football, so uh, we're partnered up with TSP, that uh, also streams on, on KSAT. We're really happy to support our local high school sports and our athletes, and we're uh, just proud that uh, he was able to win this award, not only for being a uh, great athlete, but also a great leader and a great person. Today, it was all about recognizing Ashton and his outstanding work for the entire season. Thank you for my parents for being here with me to celebrate this moment. Thank you for Coach Bezos for the opportunity. I want to thank my, all, like, everybody on the team for just like hopping me up, just keeping me going through the, through the year. And uh, I want to thank God. Well done, Ashton, and congratulations. You are the 2021 John Wayne Player of the Year. Lada from Amy Lada Creations, and I'm so excited to share with you three fun and festive holiday projects that you can do with your whole family. The first one we're going to look at is a DIY snow globe. And what's really fun about this is that you can personalize it with any kind of figurine you want on the inside, which makes it a lot more fun than the ones you buy in the store. All you need to create this is some kind of container. I like to use like a small jar. I got two packs of these in the dollar spot at Target, so they're really affordable. Then whatever figure you want to put inside, along with the snow filler. I like to use this confetti glitter, but any kind of glitter will work. And the main snow is Fairfield World's Poly Pellets. These are things that you can use to stuff little stuffed animals or bean bags, but they make the perfect snow for our snow globe. So the first step is we're gonna take the lid off of our jar and we're gonna choose what goes inside. My son likes to make them with his little toys, like his Mario Kart figures and things. And I like to use Christmas ornaments or small candles like this glittery tree. The next step is that we secure this to the lid. If you want it permanent, you can certainly use glue, but we like to change ours out from year to year and use different things inside. So I like to use a little bit of Sculpey clay. It's just sticky enough to hold for now, but not forever. So we attach our tree, then we're gonna set it aside and fill our jar with snow. We're gonna pour some poly pellets, and this is just sort of where you're gonna eyeball how much you wanna use. You can always add more or take some out. Then we're gonna add in the glitter because sparkle and glitter makes everything better. And then we're just gonna flip this upside down and put the lid on our jar. And voila, we have a DIY snow globe. Next, we're gonna take a look at two really special Christmas ornaments you can create. The base for the first one is an, a clear acrylic ornament, and these are available in craft stores as well as online. I got a pack of a whole bunch on Amazon, and they're in different shapes, like bells, trees, presents, circles, everything you can think of. Our first step here is that we're gonna use some Mod Podge and paint a coat of Mod Podge on one side of the acrylic ornament. Don't be afraid to use a lot because we want our glitter to stick. Then we're gonna take this confetti glitter, which is larger pieces of like a shiny foil. So it's a little less messy than traditional fine glitter. Then we're gonna sprinkle a full coat on top of our Mod Podge and we're gonna let it dry. Once it's dry, we're gonna paint another coat of Mod Podge on here to seal our glitter in place so that it doesn't go away. Finally, on the other side of the ornament, you can do some hand lettering, which is my specialty. You can use a permanent marker to draw on here, let your kids draw or write their names. There are a million ways you can personalize this, and these are so cute as gift tags tied onto the top of a present. The other ornament that I wanna show you today is a really fun one. Once again, we're gonna bring a little hand lettering in. I got these globe ornaments at a World Market store, and all I did was I took 
a paint marker and wrote messages on these globes. You can do simple things like adventure awaits or home is wherever I am with you, or you can make it really meaningful and personal by writing a name or the name of a place and a date and time of a trip that meant something to you. So once again, the possibilities are endless. Hey guys, it's David Elder, and right now for KSAT Deals, we have some hot dogs that you're gonna love to try. Check these out right here. These are Booze Dogs Blue Tick Bourbon Bratwurst and Hot Dogs. They're using high quality pork shoulder plus high quality spices inside of them. Right now, we're gonna be smoking them, grilling them, and boiling them, and showing you guys how you can make these at home. All right, we're gonna cut these bad boys open. The coolest thing about these is that they're actually marinated in real bourbon. These are the smoked sausages. These are like a traditional hot dog style. Let's throw them on the grill. Oh yeah. We have some on the smoker, and look at these guys. They're already rocking and rolling. Look at the color that comes out of there. Now these are right next to the fire, probably about 300 degrees, about 325. I've left them on there for about 10, 12 minutes. The outside looks really nice. I'm gonna pull these off. These look ready to rock and roll, and then I'm gonna throw the other ones into our boiling beer, water, and oil mixture. A bold beer goes a long way with different flavors, and right now I'm gonna be throwing these hot dogs some of the smoked sausage inside. This is water, beer, and oil all mixed together. It's just a little bit of oil on top. I put some seasoning in as well. I use a little bit of garlic powder, and then it's an equal ratio to water and beer. And what this will do is kind of push all that inside of it, so they're gonna be super plump and juicy. We're gonna pull them right off, because these are ready to go. I got some Belial rolls, and check these out. I just put butter on top, threw them in for just a couple minutes, I'm gonna split the tops of them and make some really nice hot dog buns. So these have been boiling for about 10, 15 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and pull them out and just to finish them off, throw them right onto the grill real quick. So these are the boiled dogs. Put these in the back of the board and we get the other ones right off the grill. All of the dogs are ready to go. We have the booze dogs, blue tick bourbon, two different ways. We have the hot dogs and then the smoked sausage. I'm gonna put one of these smoked sausages on the inside. Then I'm gonna add some sauerkraut right on top. None of these hot dogs have synthetic flavoring. They're slow smoked with natural hickory chips. Plus, when you get them in an order, it's four pounds, 26 servings of bourbon infused brats and hot dogs. And they actually, they arrive frozen. So that way you can warm them up, keep them in the freezer. They last for a long time. These hot dogs are safe for friends of all ages. So if you have some people coming over for dinner, this would be a really good item to make. And 3% of the profits made off all the hot dogs are donated to the Best Friends Animal Society. The retail price for four pounds, $69. But right here, right now, KSAT Deals, you can get it 10% off, $62.99. You can get four pounds of this. They come frozen, you hold them in the freezer, you can pull them out whenever you want to, whenever you're having a party. Plus, you can get this deal and so many other deals right now, ksatdeals.com. Live, are you feeling tired all the time? It may be that you're suffering from sleep apnea and you don't even know it. Here to tell us more about some of the signs to look out for and how to treat it, sleep technician Veronica Morillos with the Center for Sleep Apnea and Snoring. Welcome. Thanks for having me again. This is a big issue right here in San Antonio. It is everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> San everywhere. Antonio and everywhere in the world is a big issue. Yeah. And some people may not even know they have it. So, first question What is sleep apnea? So, sleep apnea is when you have process and breathing while you're sleeping. Of course, mm -hmm. it happens, uh, it could happen hundreds of times while you're sleeping. And what happens is uh, there's a collapsion of the airway. As people, you know, they fall asleep, they start breathing, normal pattern, then all of a sudden they start snoring, and then you hear nothing. That's pause right there, nothing's happening, you're not breathing, no oxygen is going to your heart, your brain, and That's so that scary. could be uh -huh. very dangerous, mm -hmm. right? So sleep apnea contributes to diabetes, high blood pressure, and possible stroke. And that was my question because obviously the snoring, right, we're aware of that, but what else can happen? Snoring, so a lot of the patients that I see out there, you know, the snoring is a big sign, but then also you feel really sleepy throughout the day, mm -hmm. you cannot concentrate on what you're doing, all you're thinking about is, 
I need to get a nap in. Mm -hmm. And what happens when you don't sleep well? You make poor choices, right? You're not exercising, right. you're not eating right. All you want to do is sleep. And then it contributes to, it's just like a pattern, it contributes to bad habits. And then you get worse and worse and worse. Some people fall into some depression mm -hmm. because they're not getting that sleep that they need. It can affect your entire life, Exactly, right? exactly. And we've seen those big CPAP machines that can help with sleep apnea and they're bulky, right? Um, and they have to get plugged into the wall. So you have a similar device that can help. Tell us about it. Yes, we do. It's called a mandibular advancement device. Now, the CPAP machines work perfect for people who are tolerating it tolerating it or for people who have severe sleep apnea. Mm -hmm. But for those pe people that are not using the CPAP machines, they put it underneath the bed and they're not using anything or those with mild to moderate sleep apnea, we have this appliance right here. It goes on your upper and your lower teeth. You bring that lower jaw forward. I'm trying to kind of guess it right there. And when you bring that lower jaw forward, it opens up the airway naturally. Uh -huh. So you're able to use it at night. You could drink water, get up and go to the bathroom without having to unplug yourself yes. from the wall. Yes. And it does one for snoring. My husband, when we go out of town, he wears it. I tell him, I'm going to mention you out there because without <laughs> it, I cannot be in the same room with you. We're going out of town. You don't forget your appliance. And very convenient, too. <laughs> oh, yeah, very convenient, so. especially when you're traveling, you know, on plane yes. in the airport. Yes. A lot of the people complain about having to go through there and having mm -hmm. to open up their machines. This fits in the little box. You put it in your purse or your pocket and it's really easy to go. And it's covered by insurance, correct? Most insurances do mm -hmm. cover the appliance, yes. All right, and you have a new location off We Marbach, do, right? we have a new location, 8700 Marbach Road. We're inside Celebrate Dental. Okay, easy to remember, and a special offer for our viewers today. Yes, first 25 callers get a free consultation. All you need to do is call. We'll schedule that appointment with you and get you in there. Wonderful, Veronica, thank you. Information's on the screen. First 25 people to call will get a free sleep consultation. That's a $200 value. Just give them a call, 210. 598-8200 and for more information on the Center for Sleep Apnea and Snoring visit their website stopsnoringtx.com Veronica thank you thank you well we hope you enjoyed this show and we hope you're going to keep watching because we have so much more Christmas fun for you this yes, week yes indeed I, we don't have any different sweaters but hey we're <laughs> gonna get the get the most out of these ones so have a fantastic Monday everybody